So, new camera, Sony RX100. This is the 5 in particular. And I wanted to stabilize it somehow. The cheapest way was the $100 Zhihun Smooth Q. Pretty sweet for smartphones, but doesn't fit cameras. I found a couple adapters online, a few people have tried, and I couldn't find exactly what I want. Somebody that got the closest was charging for it, which is stupid. So I just designed my own. Um, this is the part, I'll put it on Thingiverse, you can download it. I'll try and stick the uh, CAD file there too, like an iJess or a STEP, so you guys can mod it if you want. Um, but basically it just reproduces the bracket that fits the clamp, and it's got a hole for a quarter inch screw at the bottom. Really, really simple. Um, this is everything you'll need. Um, I'm using a hex quarter 20 bolt. Uh, you'll need a nut. And you'll need another bolt to attach the camera. These are all quarter 20. And you can balance it with whatever you want. I just thought washers would work. Um, and remember, when you balance it, balance it with the lens sticking out. This, uh, just some fender washers I got at the hardware store. So the first thing you have to do is take apart your camera gimbal. And I'll try and link a video in the description on how I figured out how to do this. It would seem that you could just unscrew this screw here, but not quite. You actually need to peel off this rubber sticker here. And when you get underneath, you'll notice there are two Phillips screws. Just take those out and you can pull the clamp off. And you'll notice that this screw here is held in by a little retaining screw. And it's a pain in the butt to get off for me. In the video I watched, he screws it right off. I couldn't. So if you can't get it off either, I recommend trying a pair of vice grips and just gripping it around the very edge of the screw and unscrewing it like that, or at least loosening it like that. So, basically, go watch that video, do that, come back here with your 3D printed part and some hardware, and what you'll do is unscrew this, but this time it'll come off all the way, like that, and here you can tell the very tip of this is where that screw goes in but don't need the screw anymore, throw it away. We'll set this aside, we don't actually need it anymore. Keep it though, because it'll still work on your phone just fine. Take the part, and this is the tricky part, and it might take you a couple tries, it definitely took me a couple tries. You have to get this thing oriented correctly. And basically you can just tell that by, if you can read the text, you have it right. So this is how it will sit. You'll take the jagged edge, and align that with the teeth and it should fit just so. Then take your hex bolt, drop that on there, and oh, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but if you've got a washer, here's a little rubber washer, just to not scratch up the smooth cue. You could probably use a piece of tape or a piece of cardboard or a plastic washer, just something that won't scratch up the rubber. You can get some weights. I would recommend just starting with something to try because you'll have to kind of guess and check. And then take the nut and spin that on and get it tight. Now this next step is kind of optional. Uh, you should probably have a screen protector on your camera anyway because it's a, it's a nice camera. If you don't, uh, try using a piece of tape over that. I tried to bury the bolt about 20 thousandths in there, so it shouldn't be anywhere near your screen, but if you're paranoid like me, put something on there. And you've got your screw. Uh, this might be a cool place to put like a thumb screw if you have one, or anything better than this, but this will require a tool, so. We're going to set the camera on, screw that in, and then I'm just going to take a pair of pliers and tighten it just a little bit. It's not going anywhere, don't over tighten it. So the next thing you need to do is just like you would with your smartphone, you need to loosen this thumb, thumb screw 
and balance it. These aren't very strong motors, so if you're not balanced, you're more likely to have a skip. So I'd say that's pretty balanced. Spin that tight in this direction. Balance it, remember, like I mentioned before, with the lens extended. I don't have it perfect, but, you know, it's not too bad. Need a little more weight in the back. Camera powered on. You can see the screen, kind of. Uh, I've tried tilting the screen up above the top. Eh, it's kind of scary. Do that at your own risk. I can see it good enough and see the record status through here that I don't need it. Plus, you've got a viewfinder, depending on your camera. So, turn on the stabilizer. Check that out. Here we go. So, we are stable. Okay, so jump cut. I didn't realize we couldn't see the camera turning on, so it's way out of frame. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it's also out of focus, too. I wonder what else has been out of focus. There we go. That looks better. So, there you can see it is stabilized. Um, kind of cool. There it's doing the follow mode. And what I don't know how to do is, like, this is fine for selfie mode or vlogging or whatever uh, but if I'm shooting it like this through the tiny bit of the viewfinder I can see now I can't get to my controls so if anybody knows how to reverse that let me know in the comments down below I appreciate that but uh, for the most part you've got a Blurry. Oh, come on. <laughs> 3D printed part to turn your smooth cue into a Sony RX100, you know, stabilized camera thing. Uh, if you like it, thumbs up down below. Let me know. Um, that's it for now, guys. Until next time. Okay, so as my video was finishing rendering and like it is done rendering now I thought hey wouldn't it be cool if I had some footage of the camera in the video about that very thing yeah anyway this is that this is the RX 100 now on the smooth queue and I'm moving around and stuff and it seems pretty stable go over to a mirror maybe you can get a feel for it. Here's the camera itself. You tilt up a little. Of course, up is down. Down is up. Uh, but it's pretty darn smooth. And you can, you know, with follow mode, get your nice pans and stuff. I'm very pleased. So, this is the real end of the video.